sir. I have those photos of Spider-Man you asked for. Ah, thanks, Parker. Just put those on my desk on your way out. Actually, before I go, I have a question to ask. Alright, let's make it fast. Why do you hate Spider-Man so much? <laughs> I don't have to explain myself to you, Parker. But he's awesome, and everyone loves him. I mean, he's your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. How can you not like Spider-Man? Okay. Fine. You want to know why I hate Spider-Man so much? I'll tell you. He's such a little punk. Always zipping around, sticking his webs to whatever he can find. But when it comes time to clean him up, he's nowhere to be seen. Do you know how hard it is to get that stuff off of windows? And don't tell me that his time is too valuable. Iron Man has had fist fights with hulks and literal gods. Meanwhile, Spider-Man's toughest foe is a guy with four extra arms. So why doesn't Spidey grab a broom? And what's that phrase they always say? With great power comes great responsibility. What a stupid line. I can't think of anything more obvious and contrived. Unless you want to count every time Spider-Man opens his mouth to make a pun before trying to punch someone in the face. The supervillains that Spider-Man deals with on a regular basis are extremely volatile with varying degrees of mental issues. And Spider-Man's first go-to is to make fun of him for four minutes. And sure, I'm always making rude comments too, but that's only to women, and I'm pretty sure that bubble's not gonna pop anytime soon. His costumes are terrible, he always looks like he's going to cry, and he's so easily manipulated by Tony Stark and the Avengers, it's laughable. And I know, you could say, oh, Jameson. That's just what makes him unique or relatable. But it doesn't change the fact that Spider-Man is a pampered little doughy snob with a prepubescent mix of passive aggression and overconfidence. He's a boy genius that has been given the power to change humanity with his genius tech inventions, but instead, he hoards his projects for himself out of self-loathing and greed and throws himself at issues he is totally unprepared for. And by doing so, he puts everyone he knows and loves in constant peril. And I will not rest until he is off the streets and locked up with everyone else who is as dangerous and insane as he is. And that is why I don't like your illustrious Spider-Man. Any questions? Um, uh, well, uh, he, uh, well, he's got, he's got some fun video games. Get out of my office! Yeah, yeah, okay, um, I'll leave. Sir, I have those photos of Spider-Man you asked for. Ah, thanks, Parker. Just put those on my desk on your way out. Actually, before I go, I have a question to ask. All right, let's make it fast. Why do you hate Spider-Man so much? <laughs> I don't have to explain myself to you, Parker. But he's awesome, and everyone loves him. I mean, he's your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. How can you not like Spider-Man? Okay. Fine. You want to know why? I hate Spider-Man so much, I'll tell you.